You know, I've said before that hosting a TV show isn't rocket science, but our next guest job actually is rocket science. Northern Kentucky native Jacob Moore is a NASA flight controller and recently worked in mission control as part of the Artemis One mission that just completed its trip around the moon. So, Jacob, thanks so much for being here with us today. Absolutely, Pete. It's great to be here with you. So, uh, so you grew up in, in Northern Kentucky? Yeah, that's right. Uh, grew up in Independence, Kentucky, uh, just right outside of Cincinnati. Uh, went to school at Simon Kenton High School, you know, went there and uh, grew up and eventually got to move on to NASA, so it was great. That's amazing. I mean, did you know at a young age, did you always know that you wanted to work at NASA one day? I, I really didn't. You know, when I was younger, I, I got decent grades, but really nothing to write home about. You know, I was doing okay, and, you know, I never thought a guy like myself could do anything like that. So this was a, obviously a big surprise to me, too. Yeah. What what, what did you study in college? What so I, I went to school at Northern Kentucky University. I uh, mm -hmm. got my degree in computer science, and, you know, that's really where this started to flourish. Um, had some great staff, some great students there who were really able to encourage me to think this is something that I could do. Uh, gave me the link to intern.nasa.gov and really set me up to start my internship process and then go on to be a flight controller at the Johnson Space Center. Wow, because how long have you been at NASA now? Gosh, so started back in 2016 was my first internship. I worked at Goddard Space yeah. Flight Center in uh, D.C. Mm -hmm. After that, got a year-long internship at the Kennedy Space Center and uh, now Johnson. So we're looking at somewhere in the realm of six years at this point. I mean, it's incredible. So we're looking at pictures of you here at Mission Control. Right. What was it like being a part of this Artemis mission? I mean, it was ecstatic, right? I mean, I get to work with some of the smartest people from all around the country, right? And a lot of these guys have been working on this mission. They, they flew the space shuttle. They're flying the International Space Station. Uh, you know, we all care so much about this, right? And get to, get to be in the same room as them and get to see how they react to it. You know, most of them have been waiting to go back to the moon their entire life. Uh, it was really special for me to get to be a part of that and something I couldn't really fully recognize until until the mission was over because we were just so hyper focused on making sure it went well. Yeah, and I know everybody there has their own unique tasks and things that they do. So yeah. what, what is your job at Mission Control? So a little complicated. Uh, <laughs> I work. Uh, so, you know, NASA trained me to be a specialist in space communications. Mm -hmm. So my team manages all of the radio equipment on board the spacecraft, uh, basically making sure the spacecraft can communicate back down to Earth. So uh, that whole process and then a little bit more of the flashy side we're also in control of the video system so wow. some of this some of this great imagery that we've seen come down now of the lunar surface of the earth from you know over 280,000 miles away from the planet uh, was taken by my, myself and my team so that's incredible so I mean taking a look at some of these photos and video that came back from the mission there um, I mean you talked about the communication. Ultimately, the goal with Artemis is for us to return to the moon, right? Absolutely, yeah, and that's the directive of the administration. We're going back, we're gonna put the first woman on the surface of the moon, the first person of color on the surface of the moon. Um, you know, this is something that, you know, the Artemis generation is gonna be a part of and making sure that that gets done. Well, it's just been amazing too, and you're seeing the images here of the moon in the background. I love the fact too that the capsule actually has like a party mode with the lights. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we had a, 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 a package on board. Uh, it was a, a demonstration, of course, uh, uh -huh. with a couple LED lights. Uh, we had some VIPs come in. I think we saw uh, Nick Jonas was one of the VIPs. We were able to come in and kind of talk to that uh, uh, communication device and activate the LED lights and, you know, make it have a little disco party. That is just incredible. So I have to ask, all right, so this was the first phase of Artemis. We just had the splashdown uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. What is next for Artemis? So, you know, obviously this is just Artemis 1, right? We've got a whole new suite of Artemis missions just around the corner where we're going to go back to the moon uh, and this time to stay and this time to build, uh, you know, a, a lunar base, a lunar outpost where, you know, America can really put its foot, foot forward inside the moon and, 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 you know, really start something there. So that's in the work. And of course, uh, we're building the uh, Lunar Space Station right now is a big part of the Artemis program as well uh, to get very similar to the International Space Station, how it'll orbit, you know, this, except this one's going to orbit the moon. Wow. So uh, really, really exciting stuff that's coming with Artemis. That is just amazing. And you'll be a part of these missions. Absolutely. That so we're starting different. right now. Wow. All right. So you talk about, so with starting on this, if somebody's watching this right now, do you have some advice for someone who might want to one day work at NASA? I mean, I got to send them down the same path that I had. Uh, Intern.nasa.gov. You know, if you're a student, if, especially the younger viewers, you know, sign up. You can do this too. We're looking for smart individuals who are, you know, willing to help us advance uh, humanity's presence in the universe. And uh, we, we need like-minded people like that to come and, and help us accomplish that goal. Well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations on the success of uh, Artemis One, Jacob Moore, and good luck with all the future missions. Thank you very much, sir.